How are you doing everybody? Today we are going to talk about Eurobasket.com and how it is the hub for everything international basketball. It contains all the news from the top leagues across the world as you can see here on the home page. And it also covers, as you can see on the About Us page here, 435 total leagues that cover 196 different countries worldwide. There are a ton of opportunities out there. You know, you just have to be able to find them. You know, Eurobasket started in 1997 and is comprised of a group of 250 people about across the globe. Uh, you can see here, I am one of those 250 people. I run the Eurobasket Summer League Camp for Eurobasket. Uh, you know, and if you come back up here to the continents page, you can see all the countries listed that they cover, or that we cover, I should say. And let's say we go to Portugal. So Portugal has a couple leagues in it. It has the LPB and it has the Pro Liga League, you know, the first and second division. You know, in the top division, if you click on Tessera, they're currently four and five, middle of the pack, and you zoom in here, you'll see two familiar faces, Roselle Nix and Skylar White. They both participated in the Las Vegas Summer League this past summer in Vegas. You know, and you can see, okay, for this particular team, I want to look at their roster, and here it is. I want to look at their stats for the season. Here it is. And if you want to look at the stats for, for specific players in general, you can click on Roselle Nix, and you can see here that Roselle is averaging 13.5 points and 8 rebounds through 8 games so far. And he's posted 3 double-doubles in his last 4 games. You know, if you go back to this past page, you can click on Skylar White, and you can see what he's done over the last few games. But also, you can click on his career. And when you go to his career, you can see that he played two years at Idaho, and then he played his last two years at Point Loma Nazarene, only averaging eight points and six rebounds a game. Then he played for the LA Clippers in our Eurobasket event in Las Vegas, as you can see here. And he didn't have overly overwhelming numbers. He just was a solid player all around. So when you go back to that team page, you can also look at the game that they're currently playing and the results of each one and the box scores for each game. But you can also check out the coaches and where it is actually located. So Coach Hugo Sagato. So if you click on his name, you can download you know, his email address if it's listed on uh, our website and you can contact him directly through this page. So there's so much that you can do on Eurobasket, you know, for every team across the globe. You know, you can go to Asia, you can go to Oceania, you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to even look at, you know, where these players are playing abroad, so take import players. So you can go here and you can type in, okay, I want all leagues and I want all Americans who are playing in these leagues. And you can do the search. Now you can see all these players who are playing uh, in Portugal from the United States. I think it said 60 of them total. If you go down the list, you can find, you know, somewhat. Iverson Fleming, he participated in one of our camps. Raiz Hunt participated in Philadelphia. Darius Jones Gibson was in Vegas a couple years ago. Uh, just keep going down the list, and you're probably going to find a couple more people that we know. There's Roselle. Ryan Ogden participated in our Dallas camp this past year. And you just keep going down the list, and you're going to find Eurobasket Summer League players who were in uh, these camps. So you can, do, you can do things that way. You can come over here and look at the ESL camps that we have coming up for next se this 2019 season. You know, this is a web page for that. You can go back to Eurobasket. And you can see, okay, we're agents. We talked about this in a prior video about agents. But you can see this here. There are so many different things that you can do uh, on Eurobasket. If you come here to the United States, and let's just go to Division One here, and let's find Americans overseas. Now we can look at all the players who are playing in Australia. You know, maybe we want to see all the Americans that are playing in let's say Germany there's a lot of them 511 you know we can click on that and we can see all of these players 
These are all the players who are playing overseas. If you want to switch over to women and check out the women's players, here you go. Click on the women's page, and now all the women who are playing overseas. Heidi Anton, there you go. There's another former ESL player uh, that is overseas. Uh, anybody else that we recognize right off the bat? Let's see, Alexis Davis, she just participated in the Final Four camp. So time after time, Bernanza Fitzgerald, another girl from the Final Four camp in, in Columbus this past year. Taylor Gleason, another one. So as you can tell, DeJounte Hale, we just keep going down the list and keep finding players who have participated in our Eurobasket Summer League camps who are now playing overseas. It is a very powerful tool, and you can do a lot of research and understand where you could potentially play if uh, given the opportunity. So this is a very powerful tool that everybody needs to take a look at.